I'm here with a little haul for you today and I've got a bunch of stuff that I've picked up recently. High street stuff, nothing overly expensive, nothing overly exciting, but I thought I'd share it with you anyway. I've got some skincare, some fashion, um, some hair care, just a bunch of things that I've been needing for a really long time and wanting to try. So I'm going to start with the beauty because that's probably what most of you are the most interested in and then I'll move on to the kind of fashion bits later on. But starting with beauty, I picked up this L'Oreal serum and this is the um, L'Oreal what's this called? The Skin Perfection Advanced Correcting Serum. Miss Budget Beauty always talks about how great this is and it was on offer in Boots. I actually saw it as well in Savers and in Savers it was about £9 in Boots. It was on offer for about 11 Usually it's around 15 But I picked it up and this is what it looks like in the bottle. I haven't tried it yet. I'm really excited to try it because I've been wanting to use a serum in the morning that's a little bit more hydrate hydrating and I'm really excited to try this. So I picked that up. And then the two other skincare items that I picked were from um, Enspa, which is a brand that's stocked in Asda. I never normally shop in Asda, but I happened to be in one um, when I was down visiting my boyfriend's parents and I saw these and I picked them up. They were, uh, it, they did have an offer for like two for six pounds, but then once I'd paid for everything, I realized the offer hadn't gone through. So that was kind of annoying. But this is the Skin Renewal Gel and this claims to gently mel melt away dead skin cells to reveal a soft, radiant complexion. I'm not sure about this. I have used it a couple of times. I don't feel like it makes a huge difference, but um, it does leave your skin feeling nice and soft. And I don't think I'd repurchase it, but I'm still not sure. If you've used this, let me know how you use it. Do you use it on a completely dry face? How long do you leave it on? It says to leave it on and then massage it and it turns into an oil. I'm not convinced, but I picked that up. And then the second thing I picked up was the Replenishing Moisture Mask because my skin's been really dry lately and just kind of lackluster looking and I, and I wanted something to just pick it up a little bit. So I picked this up, really, ni really nice, I really like it and it's something that I think I'll get a lot of use of during the winter. And then I bought two more L'Oreal products and I picked up the hyped shampoo and conditioner that everyone's talking about. I actually picked these up in Wilkinson's or Wilco's, what's it called, Wilkinson. It's not a shop I ever ever go in normally but I was waiting um, for a friend and I just kind of stumbled in there and had a little look around and I was really impressed they had some really nice house stuff in there. I bought two um, little bedside lamps which I've been looking for for ages but their beauty section is alright as well and I saw the smaller size of the L'Oreal LV Fibrology Thickening Shampoo and Conditioner and I wanted to try these but um, I didn't want to get the big ones because I've got about four different types of shampoos and conditioner on the go at the moment that I want to use up so I didn't want to kind of leave it for too long um, and I picked the smaller version up this is the 250ml but I'm really excited to try these loads of people are saying that they're really amazing and you're probably thinking you've got a lot of hair anyway but my hair looks thicker than it is it isn't really that thick and it's quite kind of thin fine hair there's just a lot of it so I want to try this and I'm really really excited they smell nice, um, I like the kind of packaging and I'm really excited to try this and I definitely want to try it when I straighten my hair to see if it gives it a bit more volume. But that's it for the beauty things that I bought and I'm now going to move on to the fashion items. So my main reason for going to Primark this morning was to buy some um, tights and some underwear. I love buying underwear from Primark, I think the matching sets that they do are really lovely and I've got a bit of a thing about wearing matching underwear anyway. But I ended up picking up a bunch of other things and spending a lot of money in there, um, as you do in Primark. But I bought this kind of bathroom travel case thing, and this is um, from the Lovable Luxuries line, it says. And um, it was £4, and basically it comes with a little book. And then you open it up, and you've got a little compartment down here, a compartment here, a zip here, and then more storage here and I thought this would be nice um, for when I go away so I could put my bathroom stuff here maybe my makeup in there um, maybe a couple more little bathroom bits in there and my brushes in there and I can have it all in one and then I can kind of just travel with that and I thought that would be a really kind of handy thing to have um, I don't know if I will be able to fit everything in I kind of I think I will but I'm not sure if I have thought this out properly but yeah I really like it and I think it's really cute and it was four pounds and then I also picked up um, some socks because I've never got enough socks not that that's very interesting then something that is interesting is this skirt and I bought this kind of black lace pencil skirt 
because I've got a top from Zara. I should have brought it to show in the video, but it's a crop top and it's really scary for me to have to wear something like that. Not that I have to, but I want to. And it's just a kind of long sleeved stripy crop top and I was thinking about maybe wearing it for Valentine's Day, but I haven't um, gotten... I can't really wear it with jeans, it doesn't look right and I just think I need a skirt and I thought this would be something that would make it look quite nice and elegant. So I tried it on and this was actually in the sale, it was reduced from £7 to £3 and um, it's a size 8 but it fits me and it's just really pretty, it's just a nice elegant skirt that I'll probably get a lot of wear out of. And then I also bought myself this jumper because I thought it was a bit different. <laughs> this is just a black jumper and then the front part of it has just got this lace panel down the front. It's very see-through. I tried it on and you can completely see all your stomach and your bra. So you're going to have to kind of wear a little black vest underneath it. But you'll still get the kind of skin at the top part and a bit of cleavage which I think is nice. I bought it in a size 12 because I wanted it to be a bit longer. It's got a dipped hem and I really like it and it was £6. And then, what else have I got in here? I bought myself some more exfoliating gloves because mine were looking a bit tatty. So I got that. And then I also picked up some underwear. Now I know this is probably a little bit weird, but I thought, I'll show you anyway. I'm gonna do a video about kind of Valentine's Day looking sexy type of thing, so I'll probably talk about underwear in that as well. But I bought this set right here, which is just this kind of blue and navy lacy bra and knickers. And then this kind of, um, nude and black version as well so i got those and then i also bought this lovely mint set and the mint set is really cute it's just a kind of um mint sort of like broad and glade type of thing bra and knickers and then i also just bought a plain black version because they were always really handy to have so that was what i bought from primark and i also bought a couple of packets of their 120 denier tights because i love those they're really warm fleece lining and really comfortable but that's it that's everything i picked up a small haul nothing overly interesting and i also bought myself when i was in the shop a packet of my favorite ever sweets just because i happened to see them a bit naughty but um yeah love hearts my favorite 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 sweets so that's everything i picked up i will be back later on this week with a bunch of kind of that kind of valentine's day related videos and i hope you enjoy this and i will see you in my next video which will be up in two days i believe i'm kind of rambling on and on now and i'm going to go and leave you to get on with the rest of your day so i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you next time bye